So my original beginner's guide tutorial has officially crossed the 100,000 views mark. So in order to thank you guys, I have created a TLDW version of this guide. Too long, didn't watch. The original guide was 24 minutes, so my goal is to make this video less than 10 minutes long with the same and some updated information. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first step is to download the Steppen app and get an activation code. So just go to the app store, type in Steppen and click on the one that says Steppen, not the one below. Once you've done that, next you're going to need an activation code. A few weeks ago, I made an in-depth guide on how to find an activation code. The main ones are going to be is on their Discord server, or here's a secret tip. They have a second Discord server where there's not many people in it, and you can probably get an activation code here. And a final way is, of course, through our Twitter. On here, we do daily activation code giveaways every time that I get one, or every time a member donates their activation code to this giveaway. Step number two, you need to buy Solana and transfer it over to the step in wallet. Once you do that, then you're ready to buy a sneaker. So you can buy Solana in many different places. Don't know where to buy it? Here's a list of all the exchanges that carry it. The only one I'd probably try to avoid is Binance because there's always issues with transferring Solana out of Binance into the step in app for some reason. So I prefer Qcoin. You can use Coinbase doesn't really matter. Once you've bought Solana, open up your app on the top right corner, hit that little S symbol. It's going to show you your spending and wallet. Flip over to wallet. In wallet, you're going to see where it says Solana. Make sure that you're on the Solana chain, not on the BNB smart chain. See this code right here in the middle? Mine says 3WW and ends with 6YA. Just click that and you'll see that it says copy success. Now go back to the exchange that you bought Solana on, hit send, and paste that address into the send address. I usually like to send with a smaller amount first as a test, make sure that it goes through. Once I see it goes through, then I send the remaining funds. Now the transfer, depending on the Solana network, could take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours. I've even seen reports of it taking up to 48 hours, so just be patient during this step. Once you get your Solana, you're ready to buy your first sneaker, but first you need to transfer your Solana from your wallet over over to your spending wallet. So you're gonna hit right here where it says transfer. You're gonna hit where it says spending. Make sure it's under soul. And now make sure not to hit all because you need to leave some Solana here in order to make transactions to pay the fees. So make sure to leave at least 0.1 Solana in here just to be safe. Go ahead and confirm the transfer. And now you wait. This again could take anywhere from two to five minutes to sometime a few hours. So it varies depending on the Solana network. Once the transfer has completed, it will come up here in your spending. You'll see the amount of Solana that you have. And now you're ready to go back and go to the marketplace on the bottom right hand and choose your first sneaker. So on the top right, you can hit filter, decide on what type of sneaker you would like, walker, jogger, runner, or trainer, the quality, common, uncommon, etc. The more rare the sneaker, the more expensive it is. Hit confirm, and now we will choose our sneaker. I've done a very in-depth guide on buying sneakers, so I recommend that you check that out if you're not sure what type of sneaker to buy or what to even look for. Once you've bought your sneaker, click where you see the little shoe here on the left, pull down to refresh this, and your sneaker should usually appear here right away. So I'm sure you're excited and ready to go for your first walk, jog, or run. However, step three is that you need to wait for the replenish period. If you click the little running man on the bottom left, right above the start section, you will see that it says refill in two hours and 52 minutes. And on yours, it will probably say 0.0, .0 out of 2.0. So what happens is that every six hours, your energy gets replenished by 25% of your total energy. So if you have 2.0 energy, then every six hours, you get 0.5 energy. If you have 10.0 energy like I do, every six hours, you get 2.5 energy. So you do have to wait for that at least the first replenish period to happen so you can get that 25% energy and then go on your run and start earning some money. Remember that each one energy represents five minutes of earning time. So with one sneaker, you're starting out at two energies per day, which is 10 minutes of earning time per day. Step four, go on your first walk, jog, or run. So now you have some energy and you're ready to go on your first walk, jog, or run. If you hit the little running man on the bottom left, you will see that there is a start button. All you have to do is hit start, then a countdown will appear. 
Once the countdown finishes, you will begin your earning session. Now I'm not currently outside moving, so I'm going to pause it, but you're going to want to pay attention to that little meter that says the kilometers per hour. You want to make sure that you're within the optimal speed, which for me and my sneaker is between four to 10 kilometers per hour. You'll see that that range is highlighted in green. By staying within that range, you earn the maximum and the optimal amount per minute. To the left of that is how much time you've been moving forward throughout this session. To the right of it is how many steps you've taken. In the center is the kilometers that you have moved. Right below that is how much GST you have earned throughout this session. Then below that, you're going to have a pause anytime that you're going to stop walking or running or jogging or you're going to slow down or whatever it might be, just make sure to pause it. Don't let it keep running. Once paused, you have the option to continue the run or to completely stop the session. If you pause for more than half an hour, I believe that you have to start your session over. So if you try to resume, it probably won't let you just stop the session and start a new one. On the top left is going to show you how much GST you've earned for the day and what your cap is. And that's a daily cap. You usually don't have to worry about ever hitting that. So let's move on. On the top right corner is how much energy you have available out of the total energy that you have per day. So I currently have 5.0 out of 10 potential energy that I can have throughout a 24 hour period. Step number five, repair your sneaker and level up. So after you've gone for your first walk, go back and click on the sneaker on the bottom and hit your sneakers is going to open up this menu right here. Again, for an in-depth guide on what all of this means, check out the full video. What we're going to focus on right now is what to do after you've gone on your walk, jog, or run. So on the bottom left, you're going to see that it says repair. So make sure to hit that right there. For me, it says nothing to repair because my shoe is already repaired. But after you move for the day, your shoe's durability is going to go down. So basically you gotta hit repair, a slider is going to pop up, slide it all the way to the right until it says 100, is going to tell you how much it costs to repair the sneaker and hit confirm or repair, whatever it says, and your sneaker is now repaired. Now you're ready to level up your sneaker. Leveling up your sneaker to each level is going to cost you pretty much what that level is. So if you're leveling up from level five to six, it's going to cost you six GST. Six to seven, it will cost you seven GST, etc. So for me, I'm currently level 28. So if I wanted to level up to 29, you will see that it's going to cost me 29 GST plus 29 GMT. So at certain levels, you will not only have to pay GST, but you will also have to pay GMT in order to level up. So all you do here, if you have enough of both, is hit confirm, and then a countdown will begin. For example, here's a shoe that I'm currently leveling up and it tells me exactly how much time I have left before the level up is finished. Once you've leveled up your sneaker, you will notice that you get a plus points and in red, it says a number. After every upgrade, you get four attribute points for a common sneaker. If you have uncommon or something else, you get more. So if you hit where it says points, you can add this to the amount of efficiency, luck, comfort, resilience, wherever you wanna put it, you can use up all your attribute points and then hit confirm. That's how you upgrade your sneaker and make it better. If you're not sure where to put your upgrade points, check out this video right here that I created. It is a upgrades calculator guide. I show you exactly how to optimize your sneakers. So last and final step is to get more sneakers. The idea of this game is to get as much earning time as possible. The way to get more earning time is to have more sneakers. With one sneaker, you get 10 minutes to earn per day. If you wanna double that up, you need three sneakers. At three sneakers, you will get 20 minutes per day. If you wanna go to the next step beyond that, then you want to get nine sneakers. At nine sneakers, you will get 45 minutes to earn per day. The cap being 20 energy or 100 minutes per day to earn GST. I did a video last week breaking down the different strategies that you can try in the different case scenarios that compare the sneakers, whether you stay at level nine or upgrade to level 19, how to get your second and third sneakers as fast as possible and what the days to ROI is on that. So I recommend that you check that video out. And that's it, we're done. There's a lot of stuff missing, but I wanted to make this as short and concise as possible 
possible for you. So if you want more details on anything that was covered here, make sure to check out the full guide where I break everything down in depth. And I've also made a step-in guide playlist with all my guides in order that you guys can check out. I highly recommend it. Thank you guys so much for 100,000 views. I will see you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and drop a comment below if you have any questions. As always, guys, peace and love. Oh,